property you started, but so many business owners, you know, you can't help but want to go to protect your own. Right, and we uh, watch the Stormwatch uh, online, and since we've been through this before, I know the point where we got to come down here because it's going to happen. So, um, yeah, I feel bad for the other businesses, but... Um, Anyway, we're safe and we're happy about that. But so. was there ever a thought of, hey, okay, the water's rising, we need to leave, or did it just come up so quickly? That it, it just was- happened so quickly. The the front walls caved in and just water gushed in on us, and it was like, whoa. So yeah, it was pretty quick. So you did feel trapped, like there was no way we can get out. Yeah, yeah. When you guys headed up to the ceiling tiles. Did you guys ever worry that they're going to give out and you're going to be Well, we looked for um, wood. You know, we always step on two by fours and parts that we know are nailed into something else. So, yeah. Can you also <laughs> go through no the rescue process? There really was not, no, no. Can you also go through the rescue process when firefighters came to get you guys out? Yeah, they, like I said, they were in communication with us the whole time and uh, kept us updated. Um, also had some friends letting us know what was going on but um they decided to come in through the roof um because there's so much water still in the restaurant there's about five feet of water in the restaurant so um and they came with their saws all and you know communicated the first hole punched through and hey guys you know so we were happy to see them and hear from them and what's the next step for you uh we're not sure um not sure yet Chrissy, this area has been known to flood. This is the highest Indian Creek has ever been before. Yes. Describe this situation to past times. Well, our first one was really bad because we didn't have flood insurance, but um, this one it was worse because I was in the building when it happened, and uh, we were pretty scared there for a while. We were texting our loved ones, and uh, so anyway. Well, Chris, we're so glad that you're here and you guys were able to get out safely. Again, this is Chris Carley, one of the co-owners here at Coach's Bar and Grill. Just so thankful they were able to get out safely. 